guys, it's right here to here again. This time I'm just going to do a really short video on how to exit your iOS 7 theme in Backboard if you did not save your current theme. So I have saved mine, but I'm not going to do the usual way. As you can see, I've, I've saved it as default, but we're just going to go in iOS 7. We're going to install it. And by the way, guys, make sure you have SB settings installed before you even try this, because that is required to exit it and no restore or anything is required so you just want to install confirm you want to wait for it to finish working and this shouldn't take really long guys and now you just want to respring by clicking that and um, it'll respring and guys I'll be right back once it's finished respringing well guys it has finished respring right now and I'm just going to enter my passcode there it is, and as you guys can see, I now have I was seventh theme. The apps are still on there. You can still play apps, but you didn't save your actual theme in this, and you don't know how to exit, and you don't want to restore anything. So I'm just going to show you guys how to exit. First of all, you just want to swipe on here to get SB settings, and then you want to go to the More tab right there. More, and um, you have to wait for this to load. And then you want to go to, uh, what was it again? Mobile Substrate Add-ons, which is right there. And you want to scroll down until you see OS 7. As you guys can see, it is enabled. You just want to select it off. Come here. And you just want to go back to SB Settings. And you want to do a really quick respring right there. And it will restart the springboard. And guys, once again, because respring takes a pretty long time, I'll be right back once it has finished respringing. Okay, guys, it has finished respringing, and I'll just enter my passcode right here. And as you guys can see, I have been taken back to iOS instead of OS 7. Now, guys, this was pretty simple, so you do not really need to back up your default. I pretty much prefer it this way, but I would not do this too much because I don't want to mess around with mobile substrate. Well, guys, once again, this was a really quick video on how to exit iOS 7 without saving a default, but I still would recommend saving it. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this in the description. And this was actually... Um, iPod Uplink actually gave me the idea for this video, so guys, I'll put his channel in the description, and if you want to um, see his video of it, you can just go and visit his channel. But yeah, thanks again guys for watching, and this is Right Tech Talk, signing out.